Hello and welcome. This is Tanya with Lorenza Brown Consulting and I just wanted to talk to you about your morning motivation. So many of my clients and colleagues have said to me they don't understand how I get so much work done. I mean I was up until 10 10 30 last night writing proposals. The thing is I don't look I enjoy what I do. It's a pleasure. I it's a passion so I don't look at it as business. I really don't. It's a joy to me. So when I say I'm up at 1030, it's not like, oh my God, she's up at 1030. No, it's like I was actually enjoying myself getting something done that I enjoy doing. But the thing is, I start every day with a list, my to-do list of the things that I want to accomplish, the goals that I have, and I go through that list one by one. And one of the things that uh, someone had said to me, and I know that this happens with a lot of people, they get overwhelmed with the list. They look at those 10 or 20 things that they want, want or need to get done, and they're thinking of themselves they're never going to get it done. As opposed to just actually focusing on one thing, just the first thing on the list, getting that done before you move to the next thing. I am the first person to, and my friends, um, colleagues are, will testify to this, I'm the first person to jump off a cliff and know that I will find my wings on the way down. I am more apt to take action and then figure it out as I go along. That's just me. Ever since I became an entrepreneur, I realize that we don't know all the answers, and sometimes you have to take a step and do it and learn as you go because you're not perfect. You're never going to be perfect, but you're going to be better than you were yesterday. So when you look at your list, just focus on one thing and one thing only that you need to do and keep going. That's it. Just keep going. Make a mistake, pivot, change direction, and continue moving. And actually, this is the best thing you can do because every successful entrepreneur does this. They learn, you know, Richard Branson will talk about, you know, the things that he did. He said yes before he knew exactly what he was supposed to do or he knew how to do something. He committed to things and learned as he went. And that's what I'm challenging you to do. For this week, my challenge to you is to learn as you go. Figure it out as you go along and just be be and do and take action. Don't be the girl or guy standing on the sidelines waiting for permission to move forward. You don't need permission. Just go, jump off that cliff, and know that you will find your wings on the way down. This is Tanya, and I'm wishing you a wonderful week.